Hi, I'm Shannon Urban with the Kenosha Public Library, and one of my responsibilities for the library is to select the science fiction and fantasy novels in our collection, but I also select graphic novels and manga as well. We have a sci-fi fantasy book club every fourth Monday at 6 o'clock, and I hope some of these recommendations that I'm going to give to you today are something you'd like to try and then join us. One of the things I really enjoy in a good science fiction fantasy novel is also something with a mystery. And I like to have either a buddy cop or private investigator kind of feel to the stories. So three books that I'm going to recommend today have those same elements. The first one is called First Watch by Dale Lucas. This is a more Middle Earth, medieval kind of timeline where our protagonist has just arrived into Yanara City and he wakes up in the city dungeon because he's been caught gambling and hungover. He also finds out that the watchmen for the city guard have disappeared and they're short. So he trades his bail or his salary that he would get working for the watchmen as his bail in exchange for helping them out. One of the watchmen who's disappeared is the partner of a very crusty veteran dwarf watchman, and that becomes our protagonist's new partner. And together they investigate the missing watchman and a missing young woman that our protagonist has made friends with when he first came to town. The other interesting thing that made it very intriguing for me that I want to read the next book in the series is we don't get a full explanation of our protagonist's history of why he came to this city. He has a lot of skills that are unearthed during the investigation that don't seem to make sense with the backstory that he's giving his new friends. So if you enjoy First Watch, the next one is Friendly Fire. The next book is called The Big Sheep by Robert Cruz. This one is a futuristic dystopian in Los Angeles. I really liked this one because of the world building. I could really feel kind of the sci-fi grittiness of the future, but it also has a lot of um, throwbacks to classic stories like Philip K. Dick. So the protagonist is the private investigator Erasmus Keen and his partner are hired to find a genetically engineered sheep that's gone missing. At the same time they're working that case, a beautiful television actress has hired them to find out who's trying to kill her. And ultimately they discover, which we usually do in these stories, is that the two cases are linked together. If you enjoy The Big Sheep, the second story is The Last Iota. The last one of these today is called Titan Shade by Dan Stout. Titan Shade is a oil boom town that's starting to dry up, except there's a possibility of a large investment from an amphibian race called the Squibs. Although this sounds like a scientific science fiction story, it is actually a fantasy novel. We have our protagonist, the veteran Detective Carter, who is down on his luck, a pariah within the department because of his past. But when a squib politician is murdered, he draws the case. And his new partner is the very sharp mandibled Molin Campy, a very young rookie who has been paired with Carter to basically babysit him and make sure he doesn't get into any trouble while they're solving this political murder. There's sleazy politicians, oily oil magnets, some really suspect mages, and of course the human element and possibly some redemption for Detective Carter. If you enjoy Titan Shade, the second book is Titan's Day. 
those are the books that I have to recommend today for my favorite subgenre of the buddy cop in a science fiction or fantasy series.